Throw at my local watering hole where I get my coffee in the morning. The grandpa. I got some scrap metal if you want it. Gave me the address. I said, yeah, I want it. It's right around the corner from my house. Some goodness. Two air conditioners. A little bit of guttus. Good aluminum there. Good aluminum. And uh, lawnmower. Whole bunch of hurricane straps or whatever they are. Some, some kind of straps, hurricanes, I don't know. There's a bunch of them here. I'm not sure what these people would be doing with something like that. But. Scrapping with Grandpa, what's next? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And then, uh, as soon as I leave here, another lady called me and said, <clears throat> I have some scrap metal down here in Southport. Um, my sister found you on Facebook. Are you still picking up scrap metal? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, awesome. I got some. If you'll go get it. Well, I picked up scrap metal yesterday. Let me tell you something. I got so overheated and dehydrated, I believe, to the point where last night, all night, last night, I had cramps. And I didn't sleep for crap. I had bad cramps. So it wasn't a great night for Grandpa tell you that much but I'm still out here this morning gathering up scrap metal that I told people I would get other than that I would probably never even got out of bed this morning but tell somebody you're gonna do something you should probably just go ahead and do it so I saw her at the store this morning she said do you still want that scrap right and I said yes ma'am he said, it's waiting out there for you. I said, I'll go get it. So first thing I had to do this morning was go to a gentleman that I picked up scrap metal from. I'm gonna move a little bit closer. It doesn't make sense for me to walk 10 steps every time. Um, I picked up scrap metal from him. He knew his, this thing locked up. He knew that I was a roofer. He's locked up. And uh, he said he had a leak. Would I come look at it? So he brought me in the attic and he brought me on the roof and told him where his leak was. And he basically really couldn't believe it. That, that, that was the leak. I assured him that it was. It's my new table right there, guys. So Grandpa's a little wore out today. I'm beat up, so if I don't act like I'm too excited, trust me, I am. It's just I am beat up today. Beat up. Tore up from the floor up. And all I really want to do is get my butt back home. It's already almost 90 degrees. It's almost 90 already. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Sanity. But before we go home, a couple things to pick up today. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm moving over there. Back up to that pile. Yes, sir. Yeah, this shirt is way too hot to be out here scrapping in. I need to go home and get a cotton shirt. A little bit cooler. I don't want the plastic. Okay.
I have not been this wore out in a long, long time, guys. A long time. I am wore out today. Somebody putting on a shingle somewhere. I hear them nail guns are rolling. Let's get this stuff. Go on to the next one. I was talking to a guy from where I'm from yesterday, Maine. Oh, world. He uh, hit me up, contacted me, and said, Hey, I'm from Maine. Now, watch your channel. Awesome work, brother. I love, I love your enthusiasm that you have, and uh, it makes me want to get out there and do do more. I was like, well, get out there and do more. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we had a good talk on the phone, though. I enjoyed it. Right here. Yeah, so well, in my mind I want to say his name was Mike. Mike or something like that. Yeah. I appreciate all the comments by the way. Everybody leaves me. They tell me that they watch me, they appreciate me, they love what I do. Thanks for sharing, all that kind of good stuff. Oh my word. I don't think I'm gonna be out doing much today. Oh man, last night was terrible guys. My left leg was ramping up so bad I couldn't hardly stand it last night. Couldn't get the cramps to go away. Literally kept me up most of the night. Dang, I'm terrible. Let me things that up. That's my outside bench up there. Seen me pick up that yesterday. Then I left it at the boat place because I didn't have room in my trailer. Yeah. Went back and picked it up after I did my scrap load. 300. $69, something like that, $362, $360 something. That was a blessing, for sure, a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Paid my bills a week. Oh, that's right, I had to go to the bank for my wife today. All right, this one's done. Let's see if we can't move on to another one. Now the other one, the lady that found me on Facebook, she said, would uh, it be okay if she, if I picked up some other things and she would pay me to get them because they're like 10 foot long, she has no way to haul them. I said, yeah, I'll get it. Pay me a little dump fee and something for grabbing it and I'll be good. Thank you, young lady. Appreciate your scrap. I call about some more scrap metal, so um, let's go get it. Not too far from my house, actually, and they found me on Facebook. Awesomeness, look at the goodness. Look at all the goodness. Wow. Now I see what they're talking about, glass doors. What the heck is that? Ooh-wee. Yeah, glass doors. Wow, that's a long piece of rail. 
yeah look at the goodness i'll take it all right let's get some stuff situated gotta get all this in here all of it let's just move a few things around here i just looked at my thermometer and this is not my favorite time of year guys temperature says 90 again it's like always 90 anymore every day 90 drive me crazy <coughs> i gotta get that stuff in here so <coughs> boy <coughs> let's get this stuff to the front boy this is one of the heaviest little lawnmowers never had to pick up for a push mower oh. oh of course we tangled her up tangled her up all right get this thing to the front Everybody's having a hey there. How are you doing today, my love? What a beautiful day! Beautiful day. I want it all. Take everything. I just gotta thank, thank you. I'll grab that in a minute. I appreciate you. We're gonna make it work. Make it work. It's a beautiful day. It's hot. It is hot. But, but, it is what it is. Yeah, I like this goodness. This goodness. That's what I call it goodness yeah i'll take it all and that stuff there you say it that's that glass door you're talking about okay oh yeah it's glassy oh. well didn't supposed to go that way like a working ladder I don't want to work the only thing oh boy
we can do it. There you go. That's what I do. Put the back, which is for somewhat smooth. And uh, do that. And go up with it. Make sure we got room for everything. Let's see. <laughs> Sir, that bike might need to stand up or go somewhere else. Hubby. Better. Let's get it all. Get it all. All right. Thing is ugly. That's a fire pit. They have been trying to save with tin foil. <laughs> oh shoot! Just went to Walmart for tagament and forgot my tagament. I know you want to. Make room, Grandpa. Hmm. Let's see. You are going with me. This thing says it's already 550 degrees in there. What's wrong with that? 550. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. This is scariness. Oh, might break. It's got that protection on it. Oh man, yes sir. Keep it from shattering, it looks like. Do this thing. I literally don't have anything place to put it. Big old piece of glass. Hmm. Got it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe it will stand up in there. I don't know. I think. I wish somebody was here to help me with it. 
looks awful heavy and dangerous so it's not too heavy just oh it's glass it's scary how bad that would be if it broke on me good lord don't like glass guys I don't have any recycling place for it. I'm gonna try to get it in there without breaking it. Oh, come on, don't break. Oh, oh it broke. Yep, it broke. Almost got it. One more piece here, and then that little big stuff. The glass did end up breaking. Thank goodness it had that stuff on it. As soon as I dropped it in there, I tried to be careful, but it shattered. But still, it's all right. Yeah, I'm not sure. They probably won't charge a whole lot down there at the transfer station for these. But they're going to charge something, you know. there <laughs> yeah, yeah so if it's less than that keep it thank you so much if it's more, that's fine thank you yeah i think we'll be good with 20 bucks that's it you know where i'm going the transfer station over by the water tower yeah that's where i bring that stuff they're only open like three days a week i think that's the only pain in the butt about them you need a hand with this one yeah we we'll get it i'm gonna throw that on there and strap it all down that was easy that was easy not bad at all Appreciate it. That's what we do. Sorry, I was a little later than I said I would be, but um, this morning I went out and did that roof repair. Oh my word. Yeah, I, <laughs> we've had a bunch of roofs. I do not. Not a good time to do roofing in the summertime like it is right now. It's terrible. You're not all. Nope. So, fortunately, I don't have to do that much anymore. Don't do it much. Oh yeah, she's gonna fit on there perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. That's why I switched to uh, scrap metal. By the way, is because I can't. I'm 62. Can't get up there anymore. That's too daggum hot. Yep. That's stupid work right there. <laughs> we'll leave that for the guys that came over to do it, the Mexicans, because they don't seem to mind it so much. I personally don't know how they stand the heat, but they do. Well, you know what? I did it. Well, I have to say, when I was younger, I did it for 25 years. So, you know. So I know, I know how they do it. He's walking up and down ladders all day. Wow. That's what your husband does? Yeah. Contractor? Um, no, he owns the business. We've yeah. got two guys who work for us. He needs to let them do the climbing. Yeah. He's, Quit. We're, we're working on. That's it. the only way to do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strap this on. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Strapping thank with you. Grandpa. Right. That's what they call me. Yep, we'll let people know. I appreciate you. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize I was in your grass. Yep. I'll go straight that way. Sorry. I normally try to stay off grass. I didn't realize I was there. All right, well, we won't hit it. We won't hit it. table right there is my <coughs> excuse me <coughs> biggest concern and that I want that sliding out <sighs> I'll tell you what guys you get out here I don't care what kind of work you're doing Ooh. 
if it's summer huh it's gonna take it out of you I can't do this every day anymore not all day that's for sure no way Jose small strap on that other one I don't want to lose my table yeah that's good now we want to strap this because we definitely don't want that sliding around that would be a nightmare one more strap here there we go a nightmare go right there right. hook it on that side hopefully we've got enough rope if not I'll get another one and what we're gonna do is go in there and then go around around that come on baby long enough oh come on maybe maybe not if you go around it it can't slide Oh yeah, just enough. 